Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about decorators yet again. I have a bunch of other videos about decorators. I'll link one of the first ones in the description. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about decorator stacking and the ordering that is uh, imposed by, by decorator definitions. Um, so let's jump into it and show an example. Oops, I'm in the wrong folder. Um, okay, so we're gonna make a simple decorator factory, just kind of a silly one that makes a decorator. Um, I go over this terminology in the other video, so if it doesn't make sense, then look at that one. Um, but yeah, let's do that. Um, so let's just call it deck, and I'm gonna take in an integer here. I'm not gonna do the full type annotations here because they're actually really annoying to do for decorators currently. Uh, hopefully this will improve in the future, but um, it's gonna take an integer. We're gonna print um, when this deck decorator gets called. So we're gonna do calling x, uh, and this is going to return a decorator itself, deck decorator, and this is going to take in a function. And uh, let's see, calling deck decorator, let's just, just put all of these in here uh, with x again here. And then we're going to make an inner function, which is what our decorator is going to replace. Uh, to do that, import func tools, do func tools dot wraps func, and this will be our replacement function. So uh, deck inner star args star star quarks, and um, let's see, calling deck inner with x. And our decorator is just going to be silly this time. It's going to return. Star args and star star quarks. So nothing super special here. Return deck inner and return deck decorator. Okay, so we've written a decorator. Um, I'm just going to show you how it works with a simple function. Uh, print inside f s. Uh, so if we call this function with hello hello world. So what should happen here is the first expression that's evaluated is deck one. So it should print calling deck one. Uh, then this returns a function. So this this bit here becomes a function, uh, which is now deck decorator. And deck decorator should be called with f. So we should get this print next. Uh, then we call the function down here, which should print this and then print this. And so if we put all that together. Uh, yeah, you'll see we get calling deck one, calling deck decorator one, calling deck enter, and then inside f. And so if we wanted to write out the equivalent syntax for this, it would be, uh, you know, temp equals deck one, then, uh, you know, I guess first, yeah, first you would have def f s print inside f, then you would have temp equals deck one, and then f equals temp f. Uh, so that's kind of what this, this syntax does here. But that doesn't get us into decorator stacking. Let's uh, make this a little bit more complicated and put another decorator on top of this. So you can have multiple decorators for, for a function, uh, and the way they work is they chain on each other. So um, the actual expressions of these decorators will be called in order. So we'll see deck one first, then deck two. However, the decorators are implied outward from the function. So the function is defined first, then the result of this decorator factory is called, then the result of this decorator factory is called. And so it, it kind of double wraps your function. And we can actually see this by putting a breakpoint here and stepping through how this works. So if we run this again, uh, I'm just gonna do S to step here. So you'll see we step into uh, deck one here. Um, I'm just gonna do R to return. Uh, so you can see we got calling deck one. So that was the first thing that happened here was this expression was evaluated. Um, now, if we step in again, uh, you'll see we get calling deck two. That is this decorator expression that is run here. I'm just going to return again. Um, the next thing that happens is the f function gets defined. So you can see we, we define that. Uh, and then we're calling the first decorator. So from f outwards, we're going to be calling this one next. In fact, if we do px here, you can see that it is calling this bit of code in here from the decorator that we did here. Um, and let's see, we print calling deck decorator two. Uh, this wraps the inner function and then returns it. And now we're calling deck decorator again, uh, and that is for this here. And so you can see we print calling deck decorator one. Cool. Okay, so that that creates a whole nested 
bit of code here. So since we called deck decorator uh, the second decorator first, you can imagine f is now, uh, you know, this bit of code from deck two. So you would have, you know, you would imagine there's a print uh, calling deck inner two, uh, and then this bit of code gets passed into, or, or this this special sub function gets called into this decorator. Uh, which adds yet another calling deck inner on top of it. So you can see print calling deck inner one. Uh, you kind of you can kind of think about it like that, um, where you're just replacing off this inner function there. Um, but let's uh, let's continue our execution here. Uh, oops, I wanted to actually break point before we ran this. Oops. Well, we can just put another break point here and start over again. Um, but you can see you can see spoilers. It actually calls these. It calls the decorators in order. However, they're built in reverse order. Um, and so you can see when we step into this here, uh, we are now inside deck inner, but this is for the first decorator. So if we print X, you'll see we get one. Um, I didn't meant to continue, but anyway, you can see that the decorators, their inner functions get called in order. So it's reverse order for applying them and then in order eventually when they're, when they're applied. Uh, so there's, you know, putting all this together, there's kind of three orderings that you care about. Uh, one is the evaluation of these expressions, which you can see is in order. Uh, then there's the evaluation of the decorator portions, which is in reverse order. And then finally, the evaluation of the inner decorators, which is in normal order. And again, if, and if I put on another decorator here, like three, you'll see that, that that order is still preserved as we go further out. Anyway, that's the behavior of stack decorators. Uh, hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.